Welcome to WGU. This presentation has been created for you, from your student mentor, Gina Roll. Today we will be walking through your student portal. Please take the time to review this presentation in its entirety, while jotting down any questions you may have. The home tab of your student portal will be visible beginning the first day of the month. Here you will find a snapshot of your term and program progress and student mentor contact information. You can also keep organized by adding events or appointments to your schedule, keeping a list of action items, and viewing recent email and news items from the university. The right-hand corner also provides you with access to your program communities. Finally, by clicking on your name in the upper right-hand corner of this page, you can edit your profile and security settings. Let's begin navigating in reverse order through your student portal, beginning with the last tab, which is the Student Support tab. The first option you will see in the Student Support tab is information pertaining to student services and records. Here you can perform actions such as request a student identification card, obtain an official or unofficial transcript, receive proof of enrollment, or order additional student success kit items. Continuing to the IT Service Desk area of your Student Support tab, here you will find contact information and support services for our IT Desk. Under Assessment Services, you will find information pertaining to objective assessments and performance assessments. Both types of assessments will be covered later in this presentation, but know that information for scheduling your objective assessments, as well as information on submitting tasks to task stream can be found here. This area also houses the contact information for eCare. eCare can assist in answering student questions after a task has been evaluated, such as when clarification is needed on task revisions. Now, on to the Financial Services area of your Student Support tab. Here you will find information pertaining to your Federal Financial Aid Award and disbursements, as well as options for establishing a payment plan or making a payment. Contact information for our Financial Aid team can also be found here. In the Student Life area, Students will find access to the WGU Night Owl blog and newsletters, the WGU video channel which provides videos on a variety of WGU topics, access to the campus store, as well as student discount and refer a friend information. Finally, all university contacts can be found under the Contact WGU area of the Student Support tab. Many students find it helpful to print these contacts for ease of access when technical, weather or other situations prevent accessing the student portal. We will now move on to the Success Centers tab of the student portal. Here you can gain access to the Writing Center, Library, Student Success Center, Career and Professional Development Center and WellConnect. Coming soon will be the WGU Math Lab, as well. Moving on to the Degree Plan tab of the Student Portal. Here, students will find all of the courses that comprise their degree program. You are welcome to create new plans here, as well, to help you see how many courses would be needed each term to finish the program in less than two years. Keep in mind, however, that all courses do need to be completed in order. Many courses build on concepts from previous courses. Additionally, Focusing on the completion of each course on time helps ensure you graduate on time. Students are able to access every course within their program, at any time, whether or not they are enrolled in the course. Take some time to review all of the courses in your program. You will see that some courses have a P-icon, which means it is a performance-based assessment. Other courses will have an O, which means those are objective-based assessments. Performance-based assessments are made up projects like written papers, PowerPoint presentations and business plans. These projects are submitted to Task Stream for evaluation. When a task is evaluated, every prompt within that task needs to pass. 
Students have up to four opportunities to pass each task. Note that these task submissions are considered to be high stakes and should represent the highest quality of work. Students are strongly encouraged to use the Turnitin process and task stream before submitting tasks for evaluation. Additionally, students are encouraged to utilize the Center for Writing Excellence for a review of articulation and formatting. Either one of these concerns can slow down the evaluation process. Objective-based assessments consist of multiple-choice exams. If an exam is not passed on the first attempt, there are waiting periods, progressive study plans and approvals needed before another exam will be approved. Approvals are on a case-by-case -case basis. Back to our degree plan tab. Simply click on the course name to get to the course of study. A course of study is the roadmap for completing each assessment. Note that once term registration has been completed with your student mentor, courses for the current term will be accessible in the Courses tab of the Student Portal. The course of study contains all of the learning resources and materials needed to complete an assessment. Note that there are three tabs at the top of your course of study. You will be working in the Course Material tab. You may progress through the course of study by clicking on the next button at the bottom of each page, or by using the study plan navigation on the left side of the course of study. The study plan navigation serves as a table of contents, if you will, for all the topics of the course. On the right side of your course of study will be your course mentor contact information. It is highly recommended that students call or email their course mentor when beginning any new course. Course mentors can provide tips, resources and helpful advice that is often unavailable to students who do not reach out. You will also access your learning community by clicking on the announcements, course tips, course search and course chatter bars. To expand any area of the learning community, simply click within the selected area to see additional posts. Learning communities will contain webinar and cohort information, as well as additional tips from the course mentors. It is a best practice when beginning any new course to browse through the learning community before beginning the course. We will now move to the Assessment tab of the course of study. Note that we have skipped over the Learning Resources tab for now. Only select courses will have learning resources under the specific tab for which students self-enroll. Often, your student mentor will take care of all learning resources enrollments in the Learning Resources tab, but students are welcome to do so when beginning each new course, as well. This assessment tab provides access for viewing task instructions and rubrics when looking at performance-based assessments. Click on the Task Stream or Preview button to retrieve your task information. After clicking on the Task Stream or Preview button, you will be directed to Task Stream. If you are enrolled in a course, you will be able to click on Task Links on the left side of this screen to upload your task submissions. If you are not yet enrolled in the course, you can see task instructions by clicking on the name of the course indicated by the arrow on the left side of your screen. Remember, you can preview task instructions for any performance-based course in your program using this same process. To access your task instructions, click on the directions link. Evaluators will use a rubric when evaluating each task. To view this rubric, Click on the Evaluation Method link, and then the View Rubric link. The instructions for Task 1 of Managing Organizations and Leading People are shown here. Now that you have the rubric, I suggest using the prompts on the left side of the rubric, which are the competencies the evaluators will be using to evaluate the paper, as body headings for your paper. For instances, you would create an outline for task 1 that begins with description of the organization, followed by leadership practices. This way, your paper flows fluidly with the rubric. Additionally, you create an instant outline for yourself and can ensure you are covering each element of the paper.
Remember to cite all sources, both in text and within a reference page. No more than 30% of your performance task can come from outside sources. This is what an objective assessment course will look like under the assessment tab. You will see a take now button when you have access to take a pre-assessment or exam, or a request approval button when you would like mentor approval for a pre-assessment or exam. When requesting approval, please also email your student mentor as I do not see these requests unless notified. The cut score is a minimum passing score. This score is not based on the common grading scale. WGU uses the modified Angoff method for determining cut scores, where the score is determined by many variables, including the difficulty level of each question and the number of possible answers per question. The cut score is equivalent to the grade of a B. Some courses will have both performance-based assessments and an objective assessment. These are called hybrid courses, and will contain both a P and an O next to the course name in the degree plan tab. As with all courses, it is critical to stay true to the start and end dates of these hybrid courses to ensure completion by term end. Now, let's begin your journey of fulfilling your educational, personal and career goals. I have found that the most successful students adhere to the following best practices throughout their entire program. Students who honor the start and end dates of each course reduce the amount of money spent on tuition and avoid financial aid and academic consequences that come with not passing a course. This creates less stress for you, as well as your family and friends. Did you know that 75% of students who complete all first-term courses on time graduate in two years or less? So, begin working immediately, and work intently toward daily and weekly goals. Work with course mentors right away when starting a course, and engage thoroughly with all learning resources and within the learning community. Participate in course webinars and cohorts, as well as student success webinars on a regular basis. I look forward to working with you throughout this journey. You have the power to do great.